I can solve equations that look like p times x plus q equals r. We've got three steps. Step one, we're going to draw a wall. Now the point of drawing a wall down the equal sign here is to see the left side from the right side. Um, it's very important that we keep this balanced. An equal sign means that it's the same on each side. So if we do something to one side, we want to make sure to do it to the other side, and this wall will just help us keep that uh, very clear. Now let's think about, I like to use an analogy of a gift. The X is like a box that I have a gift inside there for you. We don't know what it is. It's still inside the box. You'll have to open it up to see. The four is like the wrapping paper that is around the present, and the one is like the bow and the ribbon on it. So when I hand it to you, that's the order I put it on. I, I put something in the box, I wrap it, and then I put the ribbon on it. When I hand it to you, you do the complete opposite. You take the ribbon off first, then you take the wrapping paper off, and then you can open the box. So we're going to get rid of this ribbon or this number that's on here. So we're going to remove the number, and we're going to do that either by adding or subtracting. So in this case, it is currently a plus one. So to remove it, I'm going to do the opposite, and I'm going to subtract one from both sides. If I do it on one side, I have to do it on both sides to keep it balanced. So 25 minus 1 is now 24 on this side. Over here, 1 minus 1 is just gone. So now all I've got is a 4x. Okay, so the ribbon is off, and now I can take the wrapping paper off. The wrapping paper is this 4. Um, so we're going to divide by the coefficient. Coefficient is the fancy way to say that number that's in front of the x. So to get this 4 off of here, we're going to do the opposite of times 4, which is divide by 4. If I do it on one side, I need to make sure to do it on both sides to keep it balanced. 24 divided by 4 is 6. The 4s cancel out, leaving the x, and my answer is x is 6. So let's do that process again. We're going to draw the wall down the equal sign to separate the two sides. I would like to remove this number, so I want to get rid of this minus 9. So to get rid of a minus 9, I would do the opposite, and I would add 9. I'm going to do it on both sides. 31 plus 9 is now 40. Negative 9 and positive 9 are going to cancel out, and the 5x can come down. Now I'd like to get this 5 off of here. This is currently 5 times x, so the opposite would be divide by 5 to cancel it out. And if I do it to one side, I'm going to make sure to do it to both sides. So these fives cancel out, leaving the x. 40 divided by 5 is 8. Now these don't have to be whole numbers, just so you know, and they don't have to be positive. They might be negative. They might be fractions. They might be decimals. At the moment, they're nice whole numbers. I'm going to draw my wall down the equal sign. Now, remember that my rule was to remove the number, not to remove the second thing, because in this one, the order is actually out of place here. So I want to remove this number, which is the 8. How can I get rid of an 8? Well, please don't look at this minus sign here and say I'm going to do the opposite and add, because this minus is actually on the 3. If I was to add 8, 8 plus 8 would be 16, and it wouldn't cancel. So to cancel this 8, which is currently a positive 8, I'm going to minus 8. And if I do it on one side, I'm going to do it on both sides. 13 minus 8 is 5. These two cancel. I'm going to bring down the negative and the 3x. Okay, now we also have another thing here. I'm going to get this wrapping paper off by dividing. But I'm going to have to divide not only by the 3, so that cancels, but by a negative 3, so that both the negative and the 3 cancels, leaving just the letter x. So I'm going to divide this side by negative 3. We could type this in, but this is going to get us a repeating decimal. So we could just leave our answer this way, negative 5 thirds as our answer. As I said, it doesn't have to be a whole number. I'm going to draw my wall down the equal sign. I'd like to remove the number, so the opposite of a plus 13 would be a minus 13 on both sides. I'm going to bring down the 1 half x. These 13s cancel. 20 minus 13 is 7. Okay, so this is 1 half times x. I'm going to do the opposite, and I'm going to divide by 1 half. 
that's going to cancel out leaving the x. And if we just want to go to calculator, we're typing in 7 divided by 1 half, and that's going to come out to 14. All right, last one down here, draw our wall down the equal sign. Opposite of minusing two-fifths would be adding two-fifths on both sides. So I'm going to bring down the 0.7x, the two-fifths have canceled. And uh, just at a basic level, 3 plus 2 fifths, I'm just going to say is 3 and 2 fifths. We could change that to a decimal. Notice we've got decimals on the left side here. Or we could change the left side to a fraction if you wanted to make them the same. Entirely up to you. But if you are using a calculator, it really doesn't make a difference. I'm going to divide by this number in front, even though it's a decimal. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.7. And so I'm going to type in my calculator, 3 and 2 fifths divided by 0 0.7 or 7 tenths and I'm going to get 4.857 and that's a uh, one of those long repeating ones. If I was to change it into a fraction it is 4 and 6 sevenths. So I probably would leave it as 4 and 6 sevenths then.